Hello students! For today's video, our focus is to solve word problems involving rational function, which is also our objective at the end of this video. Rational function is a function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomials, and q of x should not be equal to zero since it will make the function undefined. Rational functions are useful in many real-life situations. Let us take a look at how it can be used to represent and analyze different situations, both in theory and in practice. Let's take a look at this first problem. May bought 85 kilograms of fruits consisting of the landan and mango for her fruit stand business. She bought 1,320 pesos worth of the landan and 3,120 pesos worth of mango. If the cost per kilogram of mango is 20 pesos more than that of the landan, how many kilograms of each fruit did she buy? So let's try to understand the problem. So this problem mentioned about fruits. Uh, so nowadays, it is really important or essential to eat fruits for it provides lot of health benefits. So as mentioned here, we have the landan and mango which are rich in vitamin C. Diba? That helps our immune system especially that we are fighting against the virus. So these fruits are really good for our overall health. But not just these fruits, but other fruits as well. Okay, so to continue, May bought 1,320 pesos worth of the landan and 3,120 pesos worth of mango. Okay, so as observed on the price or cost per kilogram, mas mahal yung manga ng 20 pesos more kesa sa dalandan. So the question now is, how many kilograms of each fruit did May buy or bought? Okay, so let's continue. So let's do the first step, which is to make a representation. So let's use the variable x as the number of kilograms of the landan. Okay, so this implies that if there are x kilograms of the landan, then 85 minus x will be the representation of the number of kilograms of mango. So why 85? Because the overall fruit is 85 kilograms. Why subtract x from 85? Because we need to subtract the number of kilograms of the landan from 85 so that we can find the remaining kilogram which is intended for the mango. Step 2 is to tabulate the given. So I've prepared a table to organize how this problem works. So we have the total cost, the number of kilograms bought, and the cost per kilogram of the fruits, the landan and mango. So the total cost of the landan is 1,320 pesos, and for mango, that is 3,120 pesos, based on the given problem. And the number of kilograms bought, we represent for the landan, that is the variable x, and for mango, that is 85 minus x. So the cost per kilogram of the landan is represented by the expression. So for you to be able to know the cost or price per kilogram, you need to divide the total cost of buying this fruit by the total number of kilograms bought. So in this case, for the landan, it is 1,320 divided by x. So the same case also in finding the cost per kilo of mango, which is 3,120 over 85 minus x. For you to fully understand this concept, let me give an example. So, suppose we have this certain store selling avocado. So, we want to know the cost per kilograms if the total cost of buying all of this is 1,100 pesos and the number of kilograms bought is 11 kilograms. So, what should we do to find the cost per kilograms? So, we divide. So, we simply divide. So, we need to divide the total cost by the number of kilograms bought. So, in this case, the cost per kilogram is 100 pesos per kilo. So that is also the concept I use in this problem. That to find the cost per kilogram per fruit, we need to divide the total cost by the number of kilograms bought. Proceed to step 3 which is to set up the working equation. So there is a statement here in our problem that if the cost per kilogram of mango is 20 pesos more than that of the landan. So we will use that um, statement here to make our equation. So we have here um, the cost per kilogram of mango is just equal to 20 pesos. Yung more dyan, it's just the same with uh, addition. Okay? So, we can now have our equation, which is this. So, just refer to the table, the cost per kilogram of mango and for the landan. Okay, so as observed, on the right-hand side of the equation, um, it consists of two expressions. Diba? So, it would be better and it would be easy for us to solve this rational equation if 
these two becomes one, meaning these two expressions will make a single expression. So how? So we all know that um, below this number 20, there is one. Diba? Nakahide yung one. So meaning, we can have the LCD of one and X. So in this case, um, it has different denominators and it is completely factored. So we can now have this um, new equation. So, so just focus lang on the right hand side. So I just uh, do like this. So we, I multiply 1 and x, so that is x, or simply the LCD. And for our numerator, before this operation addition, I just multiply 20 times x, and that is 20x. And next is 1,320 times 1, that is 1,320. So now, it would be easy for us to solve this equation using an LCD method, or you can also use the cross-multiplication method. Okay? So um, in this equation now, we have different denominators, and each denominator is completely factored, right? So our LCD now becomes x times the quantity of 85 minus x. So for step 5, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. So in this case, the LCD is x times the quantity of 85 minus x. So now we can clear the denominators. Okay, so that's it. So the remaining now, or the our new equation now will be 3,120x here is equal to, we have the quantity of 20x plus 1,320 times the quantity of 85 minus x. So... Based on the right-hand side of the equation, we can perform this using FOIL method, right? So we have now the, our new equation, which is this. So we have 20x times 85, that is 1,700x. And then outer, we have 20x times negative x, that is negative 20x squared. And then for inner, we have 1,320 times 85, that is 112 1,200, and last term, we have 1,320 times negative x, and that is negative. So, we have now this equation. So, um, as, you, as what you've observed on the right-hand side of the equation, I just arrange from the highest exponent to the lowest, okay? So, here, the exponent is 2, and then 1, 1, and then 0, okay? So, here, I just combine like terms. So, in this case, we have 1,700x minus 1,320x, and that is 380x, okay? So, in this case, I just transfer all the expressions on the right-hand side of the equation to the left. So, it becomes or it changes its sign also. So, in this case, um, 20, 2,740, and 112,200 is divisible by 20. So, um, I will divide the whole equation by 20 and it will give us a new equation which is this. So, 20x squared divide 20, that is x squared. Uh, positive 2740x divide 20, that is 137x. Negative 100 12,200 divide 20, that is negative 5,610. And then 0 divide 20 and that is 0. So to factor this trinomial, it is hard for us to think of multiples of this number that if we get its sum, it gives us 137. But it's really hard. So that is why we need the help of quadratic formula. If you could still remember during your junior high school years, um, your teacher discussed to you this formula. So, so to get its uh, value A, B, and C, so we need to get the coefficient per um, expression or per term. So here in this equation, we have A is equal to 1, B is 137, and C is negative 5,610. So just substitute from the given formula. So we have now X is equal to negative 137 plus minus square root of the quantity of 137 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5,610 all over 2 times 1. So just simplify. So when you operate this one, it gives you an answer of 41,209. So the square root of this number is, we have 203. Continue, we have this equation now, and we need to separate the plus minus symbol into two solutions. So we have now the first value of x is negative 170, and the second value is positive 33. So since we represent x as the number of kilograms of the landine, then we accept x is equal to 33 since there's no such thing as negative kilograms. 
Thus, we can say that there are 33 kilograms of valentine that may bond. If the given value of x, which is 33, is a solution to the given rational equation. Okay, so just substitute the value of x, which is 33, in both sides of the equation and then simplify. And since the two sides of the equation are the same, we accept x is equal to 33 as a solution to the given rational equation. So now let's use the solution to answer the question being asked in the problem. So upon solving, we arrive at an answer of x is equal to 33, which corresponds to the number of kilograms of Belendan. So upon, uh, with this a value of x, then the number of kilograms of mango also is 52 kilograms. So overall, May bought uh, 85 kilograms of wheat. Okay, so for our second problem, we have the average cost A of x in pesos of an item is calculated by dividing the total cost by the number of items x. If the total cost is given by C of x is equal to 3x plus 7, write a rational function that gives the average cost A of x of an item. So, the average cost when there are 10 items sold. So, the concept in these problems talks about average. So, our next step is to identify the concept to be used. So, in this problem, we need to give the average cost of an item. So we will need the concept of rational function to answer this problem. So just a short recap, a rational function is in the form P of X over Q of X where these uh, expressions are both polynomials and Q of X should not be equal to zero. So we are asked to write a rational function that gives the average cost A of X of an item. So we have now the average cost function is given by A of X is equal to 3X plus 7 over X since we calculate by dividing the total cost of an item, which is this one, the C of X, over or divided by the number of items which corresponds to X. Okay, so now let's solve the average cost when there are 10 items sold. So we just have to substitute uh, the value of X into the given average cost function. So we have now here and then we simplify. Thus, the average cost when X is equal to 10 is 3.17 pesos. So that's it for today. Hope you've learned something based from the two problems presented. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.